Hey guys, I'm Bob. Welcome to the Math Match channel. And today I'm going to briefly talk about this very interesting question, which is called What is the rule? So basically, I have a sequence of numbers down here, all right, uh, 2, 4, and 6, and so on, and so on, and so forth. I'm, I'm not going to. Uh, maybe maybe dot or dot would be much better. So the idea of it is to actually guess or to actually identify or find out what is the rule. So this is a very famous question, okay, adopted from this bestseller book. Uh, the author is uh, Rolf Dobelli, which is uh, um, a very famous author. And the title of the book is called The Art of Thinking Clearly. So what uh, under this one chapter it actually talks about a particular uh, bias itself and um, the experiment actually shows how much effort it takes to question your own theory all right so this is a particular professor actually asked the students about what is the rule given uh, the starting few numbers as two four and six so what happens is that the students actually reply or try to uh, sort of I guess the rule by suggesting eight as the next number all right and the professor replied that it fixed the rule um, and to be sure the students went on to uh, try 10 12 and 14 while well, the professor replies each time it fits the rule all right uh, and then the students just concluded that um, the rule is to add to the, the last number, but unfortunately, the professor actually shook his head and says that this is not a rule. So the rule is not to add two to the last number. Well, so what is exactly the rule? So there's this particular student himself. Uh, he actually tried a different approach. He actually asked whether negative two. All right. Is it uh, does it fit the rule? So the professor actually says that it does not fit the rule. All right, so negative two does not fit the rule. So, uh, and he went on to ask, does seven fit the rule? So the professor actually replies that seven actually fits the rule. So the question is, what exactly is the rule? Well, the answer to this question is just basically very simple: is uh, the next number, all right? must be higher than the previous one so as long as the next number is higher than the previous one all right um it fixed the rule <laughs> all right so what uh, exactly is the whole lesson to learn so the whole lesson to learn is that you know this uh distinguishment between the resourceful students from the others is that while the majority of the students itself uh, they seek to confirm their own theory so that this student this particular student itself will tr is trying to find fault uh, with his own theory and and he's consciously looking for a lot of uh, this confirming evidence and that is all about the issue about confirmation for confirmation bias uh, confirmation bias is basically uh, is the tendency to interpret new information so that it is very much compatible with your own existing beliefs about a certain uh, kind of uh, conviction you know so it is very important to keep um, doubting your own beliefs and your conviction by keep testing or right? keep asking yourself whether this is correct or not and trying to find for about your own rule and only then you will be able to correct the confirmation bias in which it's pretty much common in everybody so the rule is just basically as simple as it is, as it is but the idea behind it is usually what you know people is uh, commonly fall into and didn't realize about it all right so that's it for now this is a bit about math but a bit about you know thinking all right so if you guys actually want to hear more very interesting videos you can actually subscribe okay to this channel and hopefully um i will hear from you soon all right so what is the rule the rule is the next number must be higher than the previous number i'm bob signing off from here and thank